Have you ever noticed how a walnut kind of looks like a brain? And it's actually one of the best nuts for brain health because it's so high in DHA. A walnut looking like a brain and also being really good for brain health is a great example of the doctrine of signatures. Doctrine of signatures is this idea that our God left clues, left signs in the plants as to what they can do in our body and what they can cure. When we talk about the doctrine of signatures, we're going to look at what's unique about that plant. So yes, a lot of plants have green leaves. That's not necessarily unique. Maybe it's the shape. Maybe it's that they're needles. Maybe it's the way that they feel or the way that they move in the wind or the way that or when they open St. John's wort is a great example of that one it opens around the summer solstice and it's also one that helps bring light into the body or like conifers they stay green all year round so that's something that's unique about evergreen conifers and they actually help your vitality all year round as well now the doctrine of signatures was created in the Middle Ages in Europe, but it's been used as far back as ancient medicine and almost all cultures have their own version of it. So I came to the creek to show you another example of the doctrine of signatures. These are cottonwood branches and you can see they kind of look like knobby joints. They also have a nickname called witch's fingers, but they are full of salicylates and they actually really help painful arthritic joints if made into a balm. And another example, if you can look at the cottonwood branches above me, they kind of look like the veins in a lung. So they are actually a great diaphoretic and they, they help move mucus out of the lungs. So another example of a clue that our creator left for us. The doctrine of signatures is a theory, an idea, and I think we can continue to look for it wherever we are, what we're forging, what we're eating, what we're using as plant medicine, but it doesn't mean that you should use it as the only basis for why you use something. Always do your research. I'm Apothecary Mary, and there are recipes and remedies with clues and signs on how to use them right outside your door.